Hello YouTube. Um, I usually don't make videos like this. I actually don't really make uh, videos on this channel anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah, I recently took. I actually I'm a pre dental student in college, and I recently took the dental admission exam, which is the entrance exam for dental schools. I took two months out of this summer to study for it, and took it um, July 30th. Um, so I got a lot of help from YouTube. Uh, people on YouTube and um, Student Doctor Network um, and other people here. So I would like to help other people who are take who are going to take it anytime soon or for starting out. So because I know it can be pretty daunting when you're especially when you're starting out. Um, so because you don't know where to start. So yeah, these are I just hide my so. This is my score. I got a 26 AA. Uh, yeah, so I did pretty well. Um, so I want to talk about mostly perceptual ability because um, I think it hasn't been discussed that much in uh, in Student Doc Network or YouTube. Um, there's many many study uh, resource, many uh, advice and resource on about the sciences, about reading comp and quantitative reasoning. But I don't think I've seen a lot for PAT because it's really hard to explain it because these are all um, visual stuff. So, but I'll just briefly go over the other ones um, first. So bio, I got a thirty. Uh, so what I did for that was I used Cliff Notes, I used Feralis Feralis Notes from Student Doc Network, DAT Bootcamp, DAT Destroyer, DAT Q Vault. Um, what else did I use? And like one exam from the AT Genius, um, the ADA 2009 exam, um, and just a bunch of random YouTube uh, channels. So for bio, I think the best way to go about it is utilize uh, a lot of resources. Don't just stick to one or two, because uh, it's the, the key is at breadth instead of depth, because the exam doesn't really go in depth. Uh, it stays on the surface. It just has the reason why it's hard is because it covers a huge variety of topics. So, yeah, my advice for that is, um, yeah, utilize various resources. Um, what else? And um, make sure you make index cards for stuff you get wrong. Like I made index, I made note of um, all the stuff I got wrong on Bootcamp and Destroyer, uh, separate like a deck of index cards, and that really helped out. If you just go through it a couple times, it will stick with you. So that way, you know everything that you got wrong, and you're not missing anything out, right? So go through when you go through destroyer like first time, make sure you take it down, and the second time you will take it down again. Uh, I mean, take down the ones like new ones. Um. Oh, and uh, speaking of wrong answers, make sure you go over the correct answers as well, because uh, a lot of times when you get an answer correct, you might. You might be like you might just what was that? You might have just gotten it correct because um, you kind of know it half you kind of half knew it and kind of took an educated guess or maybe you knew it but you don't you don't know every single choice that well. So make sure you know every single choice, every single option um, for each question by heart. Like know each question 110 percent. If you know it just like 80 percent, make sure you go over it even if you got it correct. Yeah, so use that and just yeah, you keep practicing. For Orgo and Gencam, use um, uh, Chaz videos. He nails it in terms of what's covered in the actual DAT, and then and then move on to Destroyer, and then you can just really get all the hard harder um, calculation stuff down. So in case they show up on DAT, you'll be ready. And Bootcam helps a lot too. I think Gcam and Ocam are generally the easier ones, so spend less time on those. Reading Com, I didn't do that well. I got a 22. It's my worst section. I used the mapping method. By reading, just practice and to find what works best for you. And if you're an avid reader, great. If you're not such an avid, re avid reader like me, then you can at least uh, get the momentum going for this test uh, by reading Scientific American every day. Um, just by reading that every day, you can get kind of condition your brain to kind of get faster reading just for that time period, I think. 
um, quantitative reasoning, I didn't do as well as I hoped because I studied only like the last 10 days of it because I was always good at math. I got a 23 on it. Um, it's not bad, but could have been better because I was averaging like almost perfect score on boot camp, so I thought I was ready. So I think a lot, the, the issue with QR is that a lot of people uh, who don't do as well as they hope, like me, uh, it's because they don't study it like the sciences. They only they don't go they don't really go back to pre calc algebra and all that and geometry and really study in detail like the sciences like sciences we go back and study everything right but for QR most people just study based on practice exams and cheat sheets so because it's not on like the important uh, prior priority list in terms of importance but if you really if you do that you, if you study it in more detail just like the sciences you you'll be prepared for anything so. I think that's the best way to go about QR. Don't underestimate it. Now, time for PAT. Now, that's, that was already really long. <laughs> okay, so PAT, um, number one, key, um, get boot camp and use the generators. Practice, practice, practice. Um, so practice, the reason why I said this is that um, this is not something you can just nail down just by learning different techniques and um, all the little uh, ticks and uh, all the little tricks you really have to get your brain conditioned to recognizing certain patterns and certain anomalies uh, much faster uh, so at first it's gonna be super daunting like I think my first PAT exam was not even a 20 I think I got like 19 or something so yeah it can be daunting so and, and I went from 19 to only 27 so it, it can be it can, can definitely be improved so practice, practice every single day. Use generators. So my suggestion is use take like a I don't know take like an exam full exam, and um, see where your weaknesses are. For me, it was definitely keyhole and angle angle ranking. Um, and then go to the generators and just drill those much as you can. And as you do that, first at first don't time it. Uh, because you want to really take your time and analyze it as much as possible and try to develop your own techniques. There are many techniques out there, you can use those, but I think the best way to go about it is use those and develop your own techniques as well. I used, I developed so many techniques for angle ranking. Like I developed, I mean I like came up with ways to deal with like different cases like acute angles, obtuse angles, right angles angles that are like parallel to each other, angles that are not so parallel to each other, to each other, angles that are just arbitrarily positioned, angles that have one line that's long and one line that's short. Like for those I will just pop like a card over it like like this so that the length is the same and then compare two angles. So all these little little details here and there, if you really nail how to deal with each case, you can definitely conquer it. Um, for keyhole, it's all about noticing the little differences. It's just it's just get training your brain to notice the little differences, little anomalies that doesn't match, and just eliminate answers. Um, for um, pattern folding, it can be really daunting sometimes to just imagine like a wacky shape fold, right? I don't, I can't do that. Like if it's like a simple shape, maybe. For those things, I would look at like certain certain. Um, like maybe edges and patterns, like an edge here, an edge here, and then like there's like a black pattern here. It's like a, I don't know, square pattern. And then the black side is touching this edge, and the white side is touching this edge. And then I'll just imagine, okay, if this folds, and then the edge over there is probably gonna meet with this edge. So when they fold, the black side is gonna touch that edge. And then I'll just look at those little clues and process of elimination to eliminate those and shapes and then and also um, in pattern folding ones that have like black shades and colors in it those always fold inward not outward so I had a bunch of issue with that before so uh, yeah make sure you guys don't uh, make a mistake on that like patterns things that have patterns uh, like dark patterns those will fold inwards not outwards okay because the pattern is only on one side not the other side um, so yeah pattern folding TFV just getting used to recognizing the dash and the full lines like the full line could be inward and outward as well so 
practice makes practice will just help you um, recognize those things better. Cube count I never really had trouble with. I will go by like layers. One layer I'll count whatever cube I need to count. The next layer, the next layer, just really carefully. Um, hole punching, yeah, just again practice. Just get used to imagining things unfold, and then make sure you um, use symmetry as well. And also, for example, one thing to watch out for that I noticed was sometimes they hole punch like the corner like this, and like instead of like here, right? But like literally a corner. If you hole punch a corner, this is gonna only give you one circle, one hole. Whereas if you hole punch here, it's gonna give you four. So it's gonna be like this. So watch out for that and yeah, just practice those. Did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. So PAT, practice, practice. Your brain will eventually unconsciously get better at recognizing patterns. I was scoring like 23 on average the first time I went through it. And then the second time I went through it, I was scoring around 25 average on boot camp. So it definitely improves. Like it's not it's not because like I remember them, because there's so many questions I can't remember them. Uh, it's just because I got better at recognizing them, I think. So yeah, um all the best. Um so chat videos, destroyer, um, Fralis notes, uh, boot camp. Um, yeah, I think those four are like essential, like at least a must if you aim to get 20, 21 plus. So yeah, um, more the better. But yeah, so best of luck, guys. Stay positive, and the day before the exam, rest up, and yeah. I, Put in the work and you guys will do fine. Alright, good luck.